2019 was a banner year for Daytona Beach. Thousands of jobs were generated. We invested in our infrastructure, strengthened our city's finances, extended a helping hand to those less fortunate, made our city safer and more responsive, protected our environment. We made a positive impact on our youngest generation and fostered high quality community engagement. It's for these reasons and so many more I selected the theme of celebrating Daytona Beach for this year's State of the City Report. We have so many reasons to celebrate and be thankful for what is happening in Daytona Beach. Our community is thriving and making steady progress as we remain a forward-thinking city that also values our rich history. Hello, I'm Daytona Beach Mayor Derek Henry and I love my hometown, and it's my passion to lead this great city. It is a wonderful time to be a part of our dynamic and growing community, and I hope you will join me in celebrating our accomplishments with pride and look forward to our future with optimism. Much of what we accomplished this year cannot be attributed to one individual or entity, but to an outstanding level of collaboration. The honor is mine to work with a dedicated and passionate city commission as we work together to provide direction and create policies that assure our citizens their community remains healthy, sound, and relevant. I want to thank city manager Jim Chisholm, who leads a talented and committed staff who serve our growing population. I also want to thank our resident business owners and community leaders who work to make Daytona Beach a place to celebrate we have proven that government can work for the good of all. Daytona Beach is leading the way in attracting new investment. Our private sector continues to expand with the addition of companies such as Amazon and B. Braun, as well as new hotels and housing like the luxury apartments and Margaritaville. In 2019, Daytona Beach added new restaurants and retailers, most notably in and around Tomoka Town Center and in one Daytona. Combined, these projects have generated new entertainment, shopping options, and thousands of jobs in our community. It's not just me who's boasting about our economic development. It's outsiders as well. It was welcome news that in a recent national survey, our area is forecasted to have the third highest percentage of employers adding jobs in the first quarter of 2020. In last year's State of the City report, I highlighted dozens of projects that were scheduled to be completed in 2019. I'm proud that all of these projects mentioned were either completed, substantially completed, or in process. The construction of First Step Shelter led a list of signature projects. The Homeless Assistance Shelter has been a priority for us for so long, and we did it in 2019. The shelter is built and operational. It's working to serve our area's most vulnerable. I can't say enough how thankful I am for all who contributed and supported this worthwhile project. Now here's a review of some of the other projects, initiatives, and improvements we're celebrating.
Thank you for joining me. I hope you agree that there has been much accomplished and much still to do. We look forward to accomplishing even more in 2020 to build a stronger, safer, and more vibrant Daytona Beach, one which will be celebrated for years to come. God bless America, and God bless the great city of Daytona Beach.